the green county cemetery. Mm -hmm. That's to my dad and mother, grandpa, grandma, my baby sister, and Uncle Mickey carried me all the way up. Mm -hmm. And some other ones. But you can go past the cemetery just a little ways. And there's three or four houses on the left hand side. When you get to a road, you just turn out of here and go out to your friend's house. It's just, hey, I lost the same now. She can't see his name now. Yeah, but how'd you and Harvey meet? Well, I'm going to tell you, we were going to that dairy bar. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend and I, Virginia G. there, was her name. We, had go we were going, she called me Matthew, like he does. And Mom said, yeah. So me and her was going. And when we got to top of the hill, I stopped, I stopped, she just said, hey, Mary Ann, what are you doing? Hey, Mary Ann, you come here, Mary Ann, what do I tell you? So we stopped, and she says, I'm going with a really nice guy. His name is Jill Patterson, and his cousin just there after her, and he ain't dead, you know, once he just went out. And he likes to meet someone to go out with. Mm -hmm. So we went out, Virginia and her boyfriend, Bob Patterson, and then Jack. We went out. A blind date. Yeah. <laughs> then on the next night, or was Sunday, he called me early Sunday morning and wanted to know if I'd go out with him. Sunday. Again? Yeah. And I liked him, so I mean, he was awful clean cut. Mm -hmm. So then he wanted to know if I'd go out with him again. And I said, yeah, well, he said, well, how about tonight? We'll go to the movies. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. So me and him went to the Waynesburg movie. We stayed there a while. Well, we stayed and watched the movie. Then we turned around and went. We stopped in Carl Beach for a little bit. That's the name of the place. Mm -hmm. We stopped in Coffee Street. And I said, well, I had to be home early because I had to go to work the next morning. Mm -hmm. So he said, okay. So I told him where I worked at. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I'll tell you what. I'll meet you there at 8 o'clock in the morning when you get there. Because I rode the bus. I rode the bus and I had to be at work. Where, well, I had to be up waiting for the And then we said, uh, What are you doing, boy? <laughs> then he says, well, I'll meet you. He, so he came to the restaurant, the restaurant straight across the street from work, the Murphy's mm -hmm. And he bought me a cup of coffee very night. Mm -hmm. We sat there and drank it to 10 to 9, and I said, oh, I don't go, I have to punch you. He said, well, I'll see you at So I said, okay. So I went on to work at lunchtime. He was waiting on me. Mm -hmm. And from there, we all... Been, been, huh? uh, been inseparable, huh? Yeah. I've been inseparable. Yeah. Because one time, one summer time, because I, that, she's too good of a girl for that. Because he had already been four years in service. Mm -hmm. So, and then we had our wedding date set for December 16th. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <gasps> we just went. Yeah. We were going to. I was going to get that on December 16th. Because that was my mom. That was my mom and dad's wedding anniversary. Uh-huh. And there you get one more, he comes away. So, well, the first day of December, he came for a place for, and he climbs the restaurant and bought my coffee. 
this is up in Chip after work. He said, right now I'm going to Pittsburgh. I said, where are you going to Pittsburgh for? He says, oh, my buddy has to go. And he likes me to go with me. Mm -hmm. So he didn't come home that way. Mm -hmm. His sister, Pauline, is the door. Uh, okay, I'll say that. Uh, his sister, Pauline, is the door. That last grammar. And she says, but he got back from Pittsburgh yet. But he wants to go over home and wait on him. Mm -hmm. So I went over home and I was waiting on him. Oh, no, yeah, I don't know how his mom said. Uh, Junior's not coming home tonight. I says, what? Well, he couldn't get a job. And I know he'd been looking, and there was my job's in 49. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, why, what's he doing in Pittsburgh? She said, well, he joined the Air Force again. So he can have some money. But he said, tell you, be at home, and he'll call you tonight. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to talk to him right now. Mm -hmm. He was crying, and I was crying. No. So, uh, he just started writing to me, and I wrote to him. Yeah. He came home March the 1st. Either March or 1st, or February 29th, somewhere in there. And we had to go. My mom and dad signed for me to get married. And we had to go to Winston to get married. Well, since he joined the earth, and he called me that night, and said, I'm so sorry. I won't be there tonight to pick you up. He said, because I joined the army today. He said, we can't live on that. And he says, you know there's no jobs in PA. I said, yeah, I know that. He says, okay, will you write to me one more? I said, yes, I'll write to you. Yeah. So I go there almost every day, yeah. How many days? Huh? How many days? Well, from December, uh, March the 1st, till he comes the 1st of March, 1950. So from March to March? Mm -hmm. When did he leave to go? In December. Oh, until March. Yeah. Okay. In, in March, he came. He met me at university again. I, I already had asked for two weeks off, but I didn't have my son. I said, "Yeah." So my boss said, "You can have it." Mm -hmm. So I got my two weeks off. He was home a week. We had to leave and go to. I asked to get where he went, but he had to go to the base. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't see no more till he was coming home in Ju at Nelson Junior Third, and he was coming home to see Nelson the first of June. Well, he came home to see Nelson the first of June, and we made arrangements. To me, he was going to be brought, booked in in Mississippi, locked in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'll go down and get you out. And she said, if I have, I'll come get you. I'm sent for you. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did. Did you give her a sense? Yeah. And he was, he was so kind and lovable. Yeah. Hard working. <laughs> he had a quick one. Yeah. What did he do here? He he rebuilt alternators? Oh, he, was, uh, oh, he w <laughs> started when he could have service. He got service. He went to uh, Union Town to... Uh, Electronic school. Mm -hmm. 
He went to school over there for, I think it was six months. Mm -hmm. He graduated with the honors. And then he says, well, he, he told me, he says, I was osteoceros. I was just so terrible now. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So we had, he said, the sooner I get down here, I walk them. See, we can find it for you. So he was down here a week in Biloxi. He called and told me he found that house. Mm -hmm. He says, you and your mom come on in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I said, okay. So I went to work that day and told the boss, I said, well, I'm quitting for good news. I guess Tom, my boyfriend's back. And we're getting, going to live in Blocky, Mississippi. He said, well, Mary Ann, I'm glad you said that. And that's all he said. Mm -hmm. But didn't he, um, go, he was working at a mechanic shop and decided he could make his own mechanic shop and make more money he, on his he, own? He worked in the school in Pennsylvania. Then he went to Ohio and was working. Be building all needles and starter. Uh huh. But he also tested car batteries. Yeah. That's what he was doing in the server. Yeah. And then my dad. So he was doing that. He was um, a mechanic for airplanes, though, right? Just to make Rebuilding them. airplanes? He used some, yeah. Yeah. But anyhow. Well, we reached the velocity. He got a job on his side. Working on batteries and cars. Mm -hmm. And they liked it. They didn't want to sleep when he got out of service. He said, nope. I told my wife, as soon as I got out, I was getting home. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did. He said, let's just go to Pennsylvania. So we got to Pennsylvania. That's when he decided to go to automatic school. Mm -hmm. And took up all his and starters and anything else coming along. Yeah. And he he didn't have any trouble getting his job. Anybody came to him, they were proud of him. Yeah. They sent messages around. He's a good worker and everything. He was a wanted man. He very sad yeah. did he get an alternator back. Yeah. Very, very sad. But after we lived in Union Town, Pennsylvania, while he went to school, then when he got out of school, he went to Barberton, Ohio. We lived there for about a month. Well, we still We moved to a state of Barberton. I mean, at Akron, Ohio. We stayed there because we got to find a place to live. Well, we was living up in Westchester House. This was another couple mm -hmm. in the same apartment. And they didn't work. Mm -hmm. So we stayed there. He, you know, he went to uh, uh, Barberton and he went and got a few you know, George had got hired him mm. for building batteries. Yeah. And he built them, and he was good with them. He stayed there for about two years. And he said, Mary, we aren't doing as good as I want to do. He said, we're doing good, but not as good. Mm -hmm. I said, well, what are you planning? He said, if you don't mind, we'll move south. I said, what do you mean, Seth? He says, down in Florida or anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we left, uh, we left Nelson with Mom. And me and him went to Florida. I forget what month it was. March or April, we went to Florida. First place he walked into, Bill Wears, on Palfax, he had him right away. Mm -hmm. Then he went down to our coast, 
Hey, Harry. Hey, Sister Harry. He says, I'm going to work for you and make you his wife. I'm going to work for myself. Mm -hmm. And that's when he decided he would go to work for you. Good. All he had to start as a car bag. Mm -hmm. And that was From him. home. Yeah, and it gave him a little shock first. Oh. But at first, he just did a couple of batteries. You know. And then. Everything was going okay, but he said he go to Florida. Mm -hmm. I said we go to Florida. He said we'll go make a living. Mm -hmm. So me and him left together. With me. I didn't take me out there mm -hmm. because I expected that. So we went to Florida. He talked to a couple guys, and we went down there to be with. We talked to Bill Ware. At first, I sit in the car while he, he went in and talked. And when he came back, he told bring your wife in the office with you. He said, I know it's awful. I said, mm -hmm. I said, okay. So we went in. And he told me, he said, I gave your husband a job and I also built it. I'm going to start up with your battery. Start for it. I said, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bad place. I think he worked about a year for me over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe two years. And he got disgusted with somebody. And Chuck used to work at our place. And Chuck was telling him how to go to our place. Well, Marco had been twice as good when Grandpa was there. Mm -hmm. They had him right off. And then he said, one day, why? Make all the money for everybody and not for himself. So he just told Marco he quit. He said, are you mad? He said, no, I'm just doing this to live up on my own. Quit. I just as well. Thank you. I, you've been a lot of help. And you showed up a lot of circumstances. So we went to Africa. No, we went to a couple places. We stopped on our way, way down to no, what the, where I lived in Florida. And we stayed there. For a while, it was real good. We stayed there for a while. And then Pap said he was going to build a place in it. And he just did it from home to us. Mm -hmm. But he was doing so good. He said, you know, yeah, well, I'm not my own business. I said, do what you want. Mm -hmm. So he opened up his business in Merchant Biloxi. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, we stayed there a while, and then he saw her a place in Panama City with like a good battery man. Mm -hmm. And Pap says, let's go. So we went up there, walked in the front door, he talked to the guy, he said, you're hired. <laughs> he never had a good job, a job getting hired. Yeah. He says, you're hired, mister. So he started for him. We, we, see, we, we lived in the house that we didn't like. Then we I lived in. I thought, I know, we bought a house. Because on the side, when Pap was working for this guy in uh, Atlanta, not Atlanta, you know, but anyway. When he went there, the guy told him he went to work, and he went to work. Well, we stayed there, I guess, two or three years. And we had bought more than two houses. One was a, it was a rental house, $807 a month. Mm -hmm. And then Pap decided 
He's just doing good looking for a job again. Mm -hmm. 870 a month. That's pretty high back in the day, yeah. right? Yeah. So, we went to, what was it? <coughs> Anyhow, we went into a place up here on Balfour. And he got a job. And the guy told him, he said, I'm going to get my own place up here. Mm -hmm. He said, but I'm going to need a guy. So the pap says, well, you want to see my work? He says, yeah. So he was there to say, got Mr. Ware. <coughs> he got Mr. Ware to hire him. And Mr. Ware hired him. And when he's worked for Mr. Ware, yeah, he decided he wasn't going to work for anybody. He was going to work for himself. Mm -hmm. And that was in about 19. 19, let's well, see. About 1958. I, I had had I had chat. But uh, mm. you start business there. That's it. We give you a word. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to Miami. And he went to work for Bill Ware on, up here on Palo Then he went down to another place there. He worked. And he said again, he said, build his own shop. Mm -hmm. So he took the whole backyard up mm -hmm. and made a building. What was that? He jumped. <laughs>